Hey guys, what's going on? We're back again with another Mystery Tackle Box reveal, review, and giveaway. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the May box. That's May 2020. Um, and exactly seeing what they have for the you know end of spring and the start of summer. So uh, first things first, I wanted to go over exactly uh, what we're going to be doing for this box that's different. I'm going to be asking you guys to like the video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then just leave me a comment of your favorite lure. Once you do all three of those things, you will be entered in the giveaway uh, for the monthly mystery tackle box and all the future giveaways from here on, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, just make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you leave me a comment of your favorite lure, and that's all you gotta do, you're entered. Um, so enough with that, let's go ahead and jump into this thing and see what we have. Perfect. All right, guys, I almost forgot to announce the winner of last month's Mystery Tackle Box, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Just going to display the name right here across the screen, and just go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram. That's going to be the easiest platform to get a hold of me. Uh, either just DM me or just uh, jump in my comments. Let me know that, uh, hey, yo, it's me from the video, and we'll get this box in your hands. I'll get in touch with you. We'll get the address, and we'll ship it out to you. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Let's get back to the video. So, uh, let's go ahead and start over here on the left side. So first thing I see is just gonna be a pack of uh, swim bait hooks. It looks like they're called the uh, Shad Dart Red Pearl uh, Half Ounce. You got two of these bad boys and I can already tell that that's gonna be really good to match up with the uh, Biospawn Exoswim. Big size swim bait this time of the year looks like they provided us. Um, and that's gonna be definitely a nice size hook to get deep in the water and actually you know, provide a good size for that, uh, that body. Um, so I guess I'll, no, I'm not actually going to take these out. I'm just going to pop them to the side. Nothing too fancy about them. Looks like just some swim jig hooks. Um, so next thing we'll take a look at, it's going to be this D and L tackle, um, Bradley Roy special. So it looks kind of like a, uh, not a nano jig, but it's pretty small. Kind of looks like a strike King Bitsy jig. Um, one cool thing about it is it's got like this blue pattern to the bottom of it definitely looks like a uh like a bluegill type look it's got the blue and the orange with the green pumpkin definitely kind of a springtime uh or an after spawn kind of look of a bluegill so it's pretty neat i like that it's definitely going to be some target times uh, or some something to target for these fish during this time of the year um, so i'm going to go ahead and pop that to the side so the next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be this cowboy topwater by uh castic so this is gotta be kind of similar to like a spook-like body, except it's got a slant, uh, kind of more of like a, a teardrop look to it. And it's got the grill pattern, gold top, a uh, little pink, um, and then it's got the silver on the bottom, red lip, and it is a loud rattler, guys. That is definitely gonna aggravate the fish. If you take a look at that thing right there, it is, ooh. Damn, those hooks are sharp. I've already got myself twice just looking at this lure. So that is definitely a good sign. Honestly, this is a really cool looking topwater lure. I think it's, I've never heard anything with such a loud rattle. So that's really impressive. It sounds like a, a candy or something like that that you used to get at a birthday party when you were a kid. So pop that to the side. The good thing that I'm noticing about this month's box is that we're seeing a lot of the summertime type lures. So during springtime, um, the fish are you know spawning up, they're having their babies. Um, then you have summertime comes around and you start to have the, the shad spawns and you start to have a lot of baby bass, uh, a lot of uh, shad dying on top of the water because of these bass feeding on them. And that's where it comes in hand to have these types of lures like this. Um, this is the spinner shad. It looks like it's a mystery tackle box exclusive. And um, similar to this other top water lure, when you're using Top water uh, baits during the summertime. It's really easy to attract the fish because they're in a, you know, they're a little bit more of a feeding frenzy mood. Uh, the spawn's over. They want to kind of start getting their their food back. They're trying to get their energy back up. So they're looking for easy meals. Any type of uh, bait that's splashing on top of the water, they assume it's a dying fish, a dying uh, shad or something, and they're going to come up and instantly try to attack that, try to get a free meal. And next thing you know, you're going to walk away with a nice bass. So cool thing about this lure right here is it is a top water lure. I believe it's made out of solid wood. Uh, I can't really tell you to be honest. Uh, I read a little bit on the back though. It said that it is 
made out of some sort of wood and then I read something about a mold, didn't really look too much into it, but it's got a propeller on the rear end of it, which creates a nice kicking weight, kind of a splashing motion, and that's gonna imitate those fish dying on top of the water. So this is definitely gonna be something nice to throw in the early morning um, and you know, during the summertime. So um, this lure and the cowboy top water, definitely really cool to see that coming in this month's uh, mystery tackle box. And I'm really excited for you guys to try these out and uh, you know, try to hook one up for yourself. So um, I actually wanna jump back into this thing. Um, so the patterns on this thing, as you can see, it's kind of got like a green top. It's got the white base, the yellow cheek, and then the red lip. Um, so it's kind of uh, a bat, or not a bass, it's kind of like a shad and like a gill kind of mixed together. Uh, it's got the black dot, so I would assume this is more supposed to imitate a, um, a, a blue gill of some sort. I don't really have the, the color on there, um, but it's definitely a really unique, really cool looking lure. And if it is made of wood, which I can't tell without kind of putting my mouth on it, and that's a little weird, um, it's, it's pretty cool. So, Mystery Tackle Box exclusive, it is the Spinner Shad, and it is definitely going to be something to toss during the summertime. I'm going to have to pick me up one of those myself and just kind of give it a test. Um, next thing we will jump into, pop this cool sticker to the side, we won't look at that, that's just kind of a freebie, um, will be the Bass Dynasty Dynacraw. So, let me tell you something about these. If you can't catch a fish on them, you can definitely scare your girlfriend. Yeah. Oh my god! You're a oh, why would you do that? But they are some really realistic looking lures. They have a bug light feature, which is definitely good for probably anywhere. Really good probably for creek fishing, if you ask me. I love throwing, um, you know, bug lures in creeks because it just seems you gotta match the hatch type thing um, really easy. Um, but the cool thing about these little creatures is they have the paddle tails on the claws. So when you retrieve them backwards, they kind of kick like a, uh, a water bug or some sort. But really unique design by D uh, Bass Dynasty. Really cool colors, black with the red flakes. I really like it. It's similar to like a crawfish, but kind of looks like a water bug. It's it's all sorts of crazy things. But also I see that it's got the little uh, ridges on the arms, so that kind of helps create that flowing movement. So these things, honestly, got to be amazing in the water. Definitely got to be a bass magnet. I would love to try these out. Um, beautiful, beautiful color, and just a hands down awesome lure. So that is. Um, Bass Dynasties Dynacrawl. So pop that to the side and take a look at the last one that I have over here, which is going to be the Biospawn Exoswim. I'm sure um, you guys have seen these a lot, but these are a really good swim bait. It is a um, like a softer type of plastic. I really like that. It's um, kind of feels more realistic for, for shad and stuff. So it's got the, uh, I believe this is the electric shad. This is one of my favorite colors. This is the color that I personally use myself. Um, and it's got like a green with like a bluish um, kind of green glitter in top. And then it's got a white base, a pearl base. I'll just pop one out real quick. Kind of take a look. So as you can see, awesome, awesome color. This might not actually be the electric shad. I think this might be uh, more like a baby bass color, which makes more sense, especially with it being the uh, this time of the year, the summertime. Um, so this is gonna be a really, really good target bait to throw around um, edges of grass where, you know, look at that, that just looks so good. Yeah, but this is gonna be a really good bait to throw around uh, patches of grass, maybe where there'll be fry or uh, other types of baby bait fish. And uh, you know, when you see a bass attacking your babies as a mother or as a father, I'm sure fish, you're definitely going to come after it, come target, and maybe even eat it if it's the right size. So these are definitely a nice lure that are going to be good to throw, um, you know, this time of the year and maybe even until, you know, next time of the year, all around the year, honestly. Guys, that is going to do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you follow the instructions to be entered in the giveaway and all future giveaways for the Mystery Tackle Boxes. Uh, all you got to do is leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then just comment your favorite lure. If you like the Exo Swims, if you like the Spinner Shad, Bass Dynasty, a little uh, Dynacross, just let me know what you think. I really love to hear from you guys, and uh, that'll make sure that you're entered in this giveaway and all future giveaways. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.